Yes. You uh, are. Yes. <laughs> you have more questions. <laughs> what have you learned just dealing with me? Uh, I've really learned that uh, you know, like uh, I have brothers also. Yeah. And uh, I would never, even if off camera, yeah. on camera, I would yeah. never like family. You know. Yeah. I don't know if I should talk about this, but okay. It's good to you know, even apart from the money thing. Yeah. Back when you maybe well, you are at home. Yeah. You have to have that relationship. Yeah. You don't have to value maybe other things other than family, you know. Yeah, because so family is always family is immediate. All immediate. And, and that's uh, blood. Blood. And, uh... Man, oh man, oh man. Let me tell you something. Today is going to be that day I'm going to address a few situations here. Now, today I'm going to address some things because... I noticed Ma was saying some stuff, and I, I really don't appreciate what he is saying, but maybe the brother needs some schooling, so I'm going to help Mawa and Nasto out on something. So Mawa and Nasto, y'all just, I heard Mawa said in his blood, blood. So basically what he's saying, family first. I get it, but I don't get it. Because sometimes blood will do you in worse than water. Let me tell you what I mean by that. How much of y'all own family member did y'all wrong? How much of y'all own family member was worse than y'all so-called friends out there? See, that's where y'all make your biggest mistake at in life. I'm going to give you a good example. I judge people by the heart. Just because you my family, that don't mean I'm going to let you play me any type of way. That don't mean I'm going to even play with you just because I say you my family, you my sister, you my brother. For an example... Look at Jamaican Jam Tours. Do you see how humble-hearted that brother is, Marvel? I'm going to school you on some stuff today. That brother right there might not be your family, but look how he handles stuff. Look how humble his heart is. Your own blood, d Mungo, your own blood. Look how she did you. That's why she got you in hot water right now. That's why we ain't letting the situation ride. Why we ain't letting it go? Because you have to understand something. You have the wrong way of thinking in life. You said because family. No, no, no. And that's why David Jr. didn't want to speak. But family getting you in trouble. Your own family getting you in trouble. The one who put you, the one who you put on to help her start her channel. Look what she doing to you, brother. Look how she getting you in big trouble. So keep putting family first. Keep putting family first and not thinking of the bigger picture. Me personally, I don't judge you because you my family. It's how you treat me and how you treat other people. Let's continue going. You see, when uh, social media sometimes the comments they they might be good, yeah, and, uh, exciting, exciting to you. But yeah. on the ground, these are the people that you have. You know, YouTube sometimes you could get sick even for a month, and you yeah. be uploading videos, In video. yeah. and they don't even care about you. They won't. Yeah. You won't get those views, those yes. income. But these people that you have here on the ground, they are yeah. the people that know you, where you've come from. The journey, everything. Yeah. So you have to really respect. Uh, yeah, I me mean, sometimes I see uh, family. I don't want to talk about this, yes. but I'll just a little bit. See, sometimes some family members f uh, feel a uh, certain way uh, about me. But if I honestly spoke the truth, the so way, many things will. Uh, the way things are. Yes. <laughs> Pe people. Mm. Uh, God, God is just yes. So you know. we leave to God to be the judge and uh, everything. All right, my way, Mister Nasto. Let's continue. So now we get more deaths so of the family. And if you honestly speak the truth, but you know the problem is, Marvel. Let me tell you something. You got to look at yourself in the mirror. Also, I'm not saying all family members perfect, and I'm not saying that all family members gonna do the right thing. We are human beings. We understand that everybody makes mistake. But do you see what you did? Because it sounds like you might be talking about David Jr. I'm not, I'm not for sure. But are you really treating David Jr. right? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you or do you have your family members pick? Do you feel you treat the Mongo way better than you treat your little brother? Is it really some underlying hate when it comes to David Jr. compared to the Mongo? You know what I'm saying? Like at the same time, you know, you, 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 what you do, you try to use reverse psychology. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be like, I'm not going to really talk, but this and that. But do you see how you treat people? Do you see, you know what I'm saying? Like when people, you change, you change up on people. 
you show them one good side, one second, then the next second you show them a different side. For an example, you see, you see what you did to me. I thought I was a friend of you. I ain't gonna lie. I thought we was all right. Oh yes, I did. Because you've been to Colombia, your exact word was, when I come into Africa, make sure I hit you on WhatsApp. That's what I did. And you ignore my phone calls. So be before you start saying about other people, even family members, think about yourself and how you treat people too now. Because see, we always like to point the thing at the next person, but we don't like to look at ourselves in the mirror. Audience, tell me what y'all take on this. We having a real discussion today. What's your take on people always like to point the thing at other people, but don't like to see their own ways and actions why people feel the way they feel about them? You know what I'm saying? Just like David Jr. saying the bullying. Why David Jr. saying that? What's y'all opinion on Mara? Do you feel that Mara could be a bully or a dictator? How y'all feel about that? Let's go. If I honestly spoke the truth the way things are, yes. like without sugar coating. Crazy. Yeah, so guys, uh, it's an emotional day. Mara is leaving. Yes. And, uh, very few relax. Yeah, so I need to go to a place where I feel safe. Not really safe, like I just feel, oh, I already Most know this place. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hold up, listen to this mess. So, you just need to go to a place you feel safe. Where you already know this place. Well, wonder how King felt his first time coming to Africa... And the only person he really knew in the continent of Africa was Ayamawa, the person that told him, make sure to hit me on WhatsApp when you head into Africa. But now he doesn't pick up the phone as much as I supported him when he went live and stuff like that, sending even um, money on donations for his live screen. Wonder how King felt. But now you talk about a place you feel safe, you already know. Well, guess what, Mawa? I didn't know about Africa. And you was my connect. Ain't that something to think about? Let's continue. Are you going to tell me last, yesterday that he saw a lot of money in his bank account? <laughs> yeah, uh, at least it's good to help one another. Maybe yeah. Don't feel jealous about maybe their progress. You never know. Maybe one day you'll need their help. And if they have been calling you for help and you don't help, it brings me, you know, the bad thing, energy. You know, the thing is, uh, Nastro, in this world, not, not in my village, in this world. Yes. There are very few people who have this type of luck of for success. I do. Yeah. Imagine at, at my age, I've been to over 70 countries, countries. non-repetitive, paying everything for myself, sponsoring myself, figuring out how to do all these things. And with repetition, close to 150 countries on my own. I've come still to my village, I built a house like this, which other people will work the entire life and still not even own a piece. So, me, I'm not ready to fight anybody because I know I'm on my own space. Yeah. And I know the value I bring. And remember, uh, I am not obliged to help anyone. anyone. True. I am not. Because you're not anyone's father. I am not anybody's father. Yeah. I am. Like I'm you don't not have obliged. the entitlement. To, yes. Yeah, they, like you don't owe them anything. I don't owe them anything. Yeah. Maybe the only person I can do something for is my parents. Yeah, your which, parents. which before I built my house, I ensured that they have a place they call home. Place home. home. You know, even if it's not 100 percent they contributed, but I did the bigger part. That's the only thing. But the rest. Mawa, mawa, mawa. Let's get some stuff straight. So, it seemed like to me you trying to be slick off at the mouth top of my you know, saw a lot of money in the bank account. Yippee y'all do, yippee y'all do, my you know see a bunch of money in the bank account. Oh man, you could tell a person who ain't used to no money, you could tell how they act. But Marvel, let me help you out on a little something, brother. The problem is I think you think it's jealousy and hatred and people mad because you building a hospital. Marwa, let me tell you something, bro. At the end of the day, you only could sleep in one room. If I had 10 cars a day tomorrow, I only could drive one car at a time. But see what happened. Y'all get a little bit of money in y'all pocket. Now it almost seems like y'all taking shot at other people in the village. Like you can't do what Ma would do. You can't do what Ma would do. Marwa, let me tell you something. You're right. 
You don't have to help nobody. You ain't entitled to help nobody. But don't try to act like you're too big for other people in the village because you had a chance to get some American money. Yeah, Google is American. Google is American company. That's who pay you. That's who pay you. And by the way, the algorithm changed. So you ain't going to be getting the money like you got before. Just know that off the gate. The algorithm ain't the same no more, brother. So Google gave you an opportunity as an African boy from the village. So now that Google, the American company, because the only reason why you even got that villa, because you was able to get some American dollars that you was able to bring in your country and build that village. So you actually have American money. That's why you're able to do what you do. But you know what? You took all the money, spending all the money. Now all your money running out. Because you know it's the difference with the currency with shillings compared to the American dollar and the power. So now with you coming up with all these different kind of ways and gimmicks to try to get money out of people from other countries, Europe and America and stuff to donate so you can finish up your projects. Because you know for a fact the YouTube algorithm is changing. That's why you telling people you want to you want to put up two videos a day. You know why you putting up two videos a day. I know why you putting up two videos a day. So what I'm saying to you, don't get bigoty because you got American dollars in Africa. Let me tell you for what it is. So at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you need to stop getting big here because you start making some American dollars. Now you act like you too big for people in your village. So you treat people how you want to treat people. Because let me tell you something, brother. At the end of the day, remember this. You can make money today and be broke tomorrow, brother. So be careful what come out your mouth. Let's keep going. This is just a privilege. It's just me extending my hand. And remember, I can I can close everything and, and just focus on myself. And even I'm thinking, even once we have a gate there, not everybody will be coming in. We shall have a soldier. We shall have, uh, like, you have to write your name. We have appointment, have things us. like that. Yeah, and also I think also that's the reason why you see some people are feeling hard. Because they realize, oh, this guy is very soon he will cut himself <laughs> from <laughs> us. Because, you know, other people feed from from just bringing uh, chaos, chaos on the internet. On the internet. Yeah. But I have no problem. Uh, but, uh, yeah. again, the good thing, what you've taught me that is that once you go, maybe you're at 100k, 200k, yeah. never, never, like, change, you know. Okay. Just be yourself, help others. Like, uh, we have people who have maybe 50k, 70k, and you will never even get access to them. Yeah. yeah they will tell you maybe a paid uh, 5,000 yes. even for maybe sharing your video yeah that's true but when you come tomorrow when he has over 400k 400,000 subscribers mm -hmm. but he will do a, a video with someone who has zero zero subscribers yeah. one subscriber and uh, mm -hmm. that shows that uh, appreciate everyone respect them but again we come and find people changing so uh, never do such stuff sometimes I when even I'm at home I'm not maybe doing videos I think so much about what is happening what is happening Marwe Nasto. Let me explain something to you, bruh. Marwe, you say it's just a privilege. Man, Marwe, please go on with that fake mess, bruh. The only reason why you even extend your hand to the smaller YouTubers because so many people was backlashing against you that charity begins at home. You know why you was extending your hand. All of it was fake anyway. Would you have really come to your village and help your village? No, you would have never done that. You only did that because you was up hot water, bro. You know what time it is, bro. So, so Nasto, you could sit up on him with all that fake stuff and say Marble got 400,000 subscribers. He still helped people out. Ask Marble what his whole agenda was to help people out. Ask Marble what was his whole agenda to bring people in that village. You know what I'm saying? Like, Marwa, Marwa got a bunch of fakeness about him. He's trying to put up a front in front of the audience. He's such this good person and stuff like that. But if he was such this good person, I would have never had a problem with him in the past. If he was such this good person, McKelly Ponte would have never had a problem with, his, with Marwa big head behind. His head done got swollen up. He think he all that. He think he could do people any type of way he want to do them. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why he having so much issues right now from so many people reacting on his negative ways. So let me tell you something, bro. You can sit up here all day and pretend that people are fake to people. Nasto, we know what time it is. Nasto, let me ask you a serious question. 
Why haven't you asked Marwa anything about the Afro Indians? What's really going on? Why haven't you asked Marwa anything about the Jamaican? Why why he haven't um conversated with him? Why he keep on ducking and dodging? Like now you put electricity in the village. Yeah. Like uh, yeah, the, the line. The line, yeah. That's what's from pay is so much money. Because if Every... he was a jealous person, he would say, Let me just put solar. Yeah. And not help. Yeah. And even I still have a generator here, yes. which is as powerful as that. And even at the same time, I had I had a say for that electricity to pass from a different, a different side. side. Yes. But I actually ensured it goes to every neighbor. If there is a home in the line, I told them if there is a home in the line, ensure the post. The post. Uh, they is, drop. Uh, their job is just to drop. Yeah. Yes. But at the same time, you have to understand, these people have not even left the village. So somebody like, uh, you've been traveling, I don't know where, Miami, New York, Hong Kong, where? Yes. You come again with somebody who has been always seeing goats <laughs> and, and shoes and, yes. and gum boots and, and... You cannot think the same. True. Yes. Because they have, uh, like, uh, the narrow mind. When, you know, when, yeah. when you travel... You see, see you realize, oh, wow, yeah, this wow. Is life. This yeah. is so much... There's so much... Yeah, there's in, bigger in, things compared yes. to this far. But somebody who has not been around, his job is every day you wake up and see maybe your neighbor who is complaining about a goat another neighbor is complaining about chicken eating his i don't know what yeah. another neighbor is saying oh that's all you can think about all right marvel so you're absolutely right on this part right here your perspective of life is totally different than a lot of people perspective in the village you're right and maybe the neighbors might be complaining about goats and stuff like that because they haven't had the experience you had. It's a difference between the shark that was raised in a shark tank that pretty much was fed by where he was fed in that little area. That's all a shark know. Comparison to a shark that have traveled in the ocean. Outside the box. We get it. But what you have to understand at the same time, bro, it's just because you had more experience than people, regardless of your experience in life, continue to remember and continue to be humble regardless of where you've been at in life. And also, too, I just want to tell you something about your experience. So a lot of people in the villages, just like your granddaddy, your granddaddy, 90-something years old, he was content with the house he'd been in. Obviously, Uncle Mo was even content with the house he'd been in. No, it's Marwa that come in that village. Even Miss Ann been content. It's Marwa that come in that village and want the village to look so good because Marwa done travel the world. Marwa done went to more places, saw more. So now you're going to pay the cost to be the boss. So do what you got to do, but it's a problem with that. If you want your village to look so good because your experience across the world, like you said, I've been to Hong Kong, been to Florida and all that, Bro, you need to make your own money and work hard for your own money. And that means if your money getting low, don't try to manipulate Americans and different people across the globe to invest their money to make your village look like glamour, to make your village look like Miami or Hong Kong or all these luxurious places. That's your problem. You invested that money. That's what you want to do. This coming from an American who's been around luxury all my life. I could care less about any of that. Once you don't get your big hospital up there and you've been there for a little bit, you'll start understanding that, man, I should save money for a rainy day because I never knew that the YouTube game might have changed on me. I never knew that I wasn't going to make the money like I used to make the money. And you could have had so much money for a rainy day, but you don't get it yet because you knew you knew to that. Let me tell you something. Sometimes they say it's better for a person in certain cultures to stay in that culture because when it's too much, they become culture shock. So a lot of people in Africa was already used to that anyway. A lot of people didn't mind living in the village the way they live in the village. You're the one that want to dress the village up so good. So since you want to dress the village up so good, you got to pay the cost to be the boss. And that means no scamming. No pretending to people on the internet you bringing Afro-Indians down here. No pretending this. Don't try to play mind games of who bid the highest number. Dr. B and Aaron Dante and all this. No, no, no. Work hard for your money. This is what you want. You want the village to look so good? 
So you got to pay the cost to be the boss. You can say what you want to say, but Miss Ann was fine with her house, her mud house, the way it was. Your granddaddy was fine. All of them was fine. You're the one that coming in with that mess because your mind that got Americanized, for an example. You don't got big headed. That's why so many people in America in debt right now. So many people can living from paycheck to paycheck could barely survive because they don't let society brainwash them to make things look a certain way. You don't have to go through all that. Real talk. Let's keep it going. Yes. I thank you very much for opening our minds up. And also all of these people making noise. Even my haters everywhere. The day I will die. Yes. I don't know what they will do. <laughs> <laughs> like people have dedicated their whole, whole channel. Like, channel. Like I was thinking, maybe if this person wants even to travel to another country, they can know. They, and they ask him, what do, you, what do you do? Show me your, your YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Like the whole thing is about gossip. 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 How do you even understand uh, something? Like that? Even others are calling me devil. Yes. I don't know what. To do. <laughs> so imagine you show an immigration officer. That this is my channel. Is... This is my channel. Like I do gossip. I, you, you I do... talk about Mara. The whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Nasto, let me say this little piece right here. We're going to keep this going. You see, if we went to the immigration officer and it, the whole channel is about gossip, they changed their whole channel to gossip. Well, you just don't know why people do what they do. You don't know why a pastor, a pastor, when he preached the gospel, I guess that's gossip too. He just don't call nobody name. You never know. Maybe that the universe used certain people. To expose other people. So maybe that's what it could be. Who cares about an immigration officer? Me personally, I go anywhere I want to go. I don't do YouTube for what y'all do YouTube for. Remember, the universe works in mysterious ways. That's all I can tell you. The truth needs to be told. Let's go. So guys, it's uh, just try to be yourself. Show work us, hard. show us, uh, maybe even your, work your hard. village. Work no, the hard. biggest problem I see in most uh, Africans, and I'll say, the only white person who brought problem in my life was Michele Pont. Yes. Apart from that, everybody else is black. Is black. One thing, even I was telling you today, our main problem is most black people. Most black people, and I'm saying, I'm not saying all. Yes, most. I'm saying most are not used to success. Yeah. So success makes them shiver. Like, oh, what can I do? <laughs> but it's, it's, it's very uncomfortable for them. Very uncomfortable. Uh, it's, it's very unfortunate. Like we are, we are used to uh, maybe seeing your neighbor is needy, he wants some help. Yeah, and so it, when you see someone get, getting maybe empowered. Or, it's crazy. It's crazy. And sometimes, like for example, mostly I've seen this in the black community. If you become like rich and successful, people are attach it to like devil worshiping, devil worshiping. free mere songs. Yes. And if by bad luck somebody dies in your family, they'll it's be like, oh, <laughs> we know why. <laughs> we, we know. know. Why. Yeah. It's not. It's yeah. So it's like uh, it's like attaching wealth. And, uh, the... Oh no 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 no, Marvel. Let's get some straight, man. Let's cut this mess out. You talking about? It's always black people. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you you black yourself now. And I'm going to tell you something. You already hot in hot water when it comes to black people. Especially the black women. Because for, for some reason, you only dating white women. You know what I'm saying? And I think, and that's wrong. Because it's almost like you got a problem with your color. Because you following, for some reason, the brainwash of what society tell you about the Caucasians, the white folks. So I guess what you're saying, black folks not good enough, really? I mean, is that what you're saying deep down inside? You don't want to say it. But even how we noticed that you only dating bright skin, I mean, white girls and different foreign girls. Like, bro, so don't say don't say too much about black folks. Leave that alone, bro. It ain't, it ain't making no black folks tremble and this and that, this and that. It's your ways and your actions of how you treat people. It's the conniving, dirty games that you're playing with people using your platform to get position out of people. You can say what you want to say about, about black folks, but let me tell you for an example. Jamaican Jam Tours was a black man that invested a lot of money in another black man. Yes, yes it was. Yeah, that's what it was. So at the same time, don't try to make it like it's always the black folks, mostly the one jealous and the only, only white person you had a problem was with, with Michele Ponte. Man, check yourself first, Marvel. You know what I'm saying? Check yourself. 
and really think about how you treating people and maybe you'll see a difference. Get up off your high horse. And that's real talk, bro. And let me explain something else to you. You talk about people always tying success in with, um, oh yeah, the Illuminati and stuff. That's what they call it. They call it the Illuminati. You know what I'm saying? Because a person that's really successful. I get it. I get it. So yeah, that's what a lot of people do tie it in with because a lot of people wonder why they can't get on their feet. Why they only could stay to a certain level in life. And this goes back to show you what I was telling people. You could tell people just work hard. It don't matter how hard you work. It's only a certain amount of money you're going to be able to get. So let me tell people why you was able to be successful. Let me break it down to them again. Marvel was only chosen by YouTube. As an African brother, he was only chosen now. They gave Marvel the center stage. And blow him up in Colombia. Got him millions of views, millions of subscribers. If it wasn't for YouTube and Google to blow Marvel up, he would never be who he is today. But because the algorithm and Google already got a lot of people in tune in their network, they put him out in front of the world. As an African brother that travels the world. But Marvel, I got to tell you something. That them days are going now. It's all fading out now. And the algorithm has changed, brother. So who you was back then to blow up to who you is today, it's no longer, brother. The game is changing right now. When you see the world start changing, you have to change with the world. So thank your higher power. Thank God that you had the position and the platform for the time that you had it to get where you at. Because you human just like any other human. At the end of the day, the only reason why you got fame, because YouTube gave you the name. So basically, Marwa took his money that he made a lot of American dollars and he was able to get in that position in Africa to be able to build his mansion and to build his mom and help his mom and help people in the village. It's only because of American dollars. So I say that to just to say this to you, bro. Humble yourself down because the American dollars ain't the same no more, brother. And don't always put the blame It's just mostly black folks. Because you already don't look good when it comes to black folks. Because I noticed one thing. I don't never see you with no black girl. So you might got a problem with your own people. But you're just trying to keep it on the low low. Is that what it is? Don't let that money mindset make you, bro. That only feel the Caucasians because of money. You know what I mean? Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. So it's this kind of stuff that make people wonder, bro. What kind of person you really are? Where's your mindset really at? Because, bro, you was one funny acting guy, bro, and, and everything is starting to come to the light. So at the same time, be easy, bro. It's the way you treat people and so much of people hating on your success, bro. Nobody cares. Let me say it to you again. You only can drive one car at a time. You only can sleep in one room at a time. So what you want to do? You going to go in different beds, different nights? That's what you're going to do in that house? What's the purpose? All that ain't called for, bro. <laughs> Real talk. So at the end of the day, man, if that's how you want to live, that's how you want to live. But just remember, everybody not saying stuff because they're hating on you. It's how you mistreated people and things that you did in the past is now just coming to the light. The public deserve to know this. You could call people witches, wizards, warlocks, anything you want to call them. But bro, you're not perfect yourself. So we're bringing out the truth to the public so the public can know. Don't get mad. Don't say you want to sue us reactors. Just because we're exposing who you are. Because if we was on your side, you would have never said that, bro. You would have never said that because we're showing people your true colors. Now you mad. Let's keep it going. It mean God? It mean that God is a poor... For a only for, for the poor. poor. Yeah. You know, like I poor. think that is a mindset that we are... A very bad. Yeah, a very bad mindset. Very bad. Very bad. Yeah. Like you. Yeah, God has success also. Yes. Yeah, pray, do your work, be an honest person. Yes. And everything will just fall in line, it's, fall in it's line. It's crazy. By it is, <laughs> yeah, you will kill them. It's getting sour and sour. Sour and sour. <laughs> the more you get sad, Look, the more guys, it's... they just put electricity. Yes. Very soon we are moving to the house. So somebody who, who was thinking these guys will not build, they will be like, oh. He's building again. He's putting it. My friend. Yeah, he's buying some new land somewhere. Actually, I just bought land. Yes. That land, you see where that land is? Up there. Up to the river. Yes. It's now my new land. Yeah. I've not completed paying for it. But right now, I have shares. And so it's, I, it's through hard work. Like, it's hard there's work. No shortcut. There's like, no shortcut. When you see someone maybe has bought uh, a new maybe car, 
yeah. and you're asking yourself, ah, oh, this guy, where he worked hard for that, yes. he did not get it through a shortcut, maybe. Like now, I had yeah. some. Mawa, mawa, mawa. Boy, you make me laugh. <laughs> so you really think that everybody just jealous of your success. That would have sound like to me. I think that's what you want. You want us to be jealous of your hospital, mawa. That's why you put your hospital up. Look at my hospital. Look at my villa. Look at my mansion. Mawa, stop it, bro. Stop it. That's what you want us to be jealous. And see, that's why you keep doing that. Just like you say, oh, they, th you, they think we're going to stop your progress. No, brother, no. Let's set the record straight. We're not trying to stop your progress. But in your progress, progress, we just had past experiences dealing with you, and we just know your personality. So we just let the public know who you really are. But if you want to ask for donations, ask the public for donations. Tell them you need help finish building your villa. Tell them you want to build around your villa because you don't got a dose of America and other countries, Europe and stuff, and you want your village to look like Europe. Just tell them that. That's all you got to do. And as long as you should, you do that, we good. But don't say nothing about no Afro-Indians. Don't say nothing about Dr. B. Donatian. Don't play none of them kind of games. Be straightforward with the audience. You know what I mean? Because obviously, you want people to be mad because of your success, brother. We're not mad because of your success. We're fine with where we are. Bro, let me tell you something. One day, I might expose more of me to you. I might expose to you how I'm living. I might do that one day. It all depends. But right now, I'm going to chill. You feel me? I ain't going to do that quite yet. But really, we're just bringing public awareness of the mindset you got. I mean, you have, you got, because we had, you know what I'm saying? Like, we met you in person, so we know who you are. So we're just exposing your hand. You know what I'm saying? And Eric Dante in the situation, too. Like, bro, you, you asking for donations from people across the world, but not willing to show receipts. So we're not hitting on your progress of your villa. No, 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 no. Where we just don't like the fact that you playing with people and playing on people's emotions and mind and manipulate them out of money. So, basically, so many words. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. Ask for donations, but tell people what it's for. You know what I'm saying? Ask for donations. Don't try to pump up pump up people to bid or who's going to put up the, the more numbers. If people want to donate, let them donate. One thing about it, they can't say we reactors. We didn't let them know. So after we done let them know, the rest is up to them and you. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. But no hate over here, bro. It's the King of Trouble Talk Show with